we're still uh, working on getting this up and, and running like we want it to, but we're going to celebrate all sports uh, here in Eastern Kentucky. And, you, and as you can see here just around us, we have uniforms from Cordia, band uniforms, baseball trophies, basketball trophies, football even. You know, we're really just here to celebrate sports in the mountains. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what people can see if they come here and all the different rooms and not only just sports, but a little bit of everything history. -wise. Well, you can see a lot here. Uh, you know, we here in Wayland, this is also the home of the Wayland Historical Society. So there are a lot of uh, historical pieces from Wayland, uh, from Floyd County. And, uh, you know, there's a coal room here as well that celebrates coal mining history, different types of equipment, uniform pieces, and even uh, some different things that they used in the mines are here to celebrate mining history, which uh, Eastern Kentucky has a long tradition of, as well as the sports. And so, you know, we're, we're trying to attract a lot of different visitors here. We're sitting in the corner of the J.R. Van Hoos corner of this, and Maybe just go back for a moment, JR, and talk about the experience of being in the Sweet 16 and to actually help a small community like Paintsville bring a state title. Fortunately for the group that I came through with, uh, our high school coach had already been pretty successful with the yeah. earlier group of players, John Pelfrey, Joey Couch, Keith Atkins, Mike Minix. Um, they had gone to the state tournament three times in a row, semifinals. Uh, one year where they were beat by Allen Houston, Louisville Ballard. So our head coach had previous experience and knew what it took to get there. And so that helped mold us and, and encourage us to work harder to do the things that those guys had done. And, you know, to bring home a state championship, especially a small school in Eastern Kentucky, that's a, that's definitely the pinnacle of, of sports here in the mountains. Basketball is everything. And when you compete for one state championship and you can get that as a small school, that's definitely something special. Yeah. Talk a little bit about your relationship with King Kelly Cole. Kelly is the king. I mean, uh, you know, growing up, if you look through any record books uh, for high school sports, you know, his name is, is throughout those pages. And over the years, the relationship with Kelly just grew. You know, it, it has almost become a, almost like a grandparent-grandchild relationship. We're that close. You know, and it's great. You know, we can actually just sit down and not even really have to talk about basketball. Um, you know, we talk about other things. He uh, was an avid golfer. So we talk about golf. We'll talk about just anything, really. You just uh, sit and talk and visit and, and, and just have a good relationship. And never in, in my wildest dreams could I have imagined that uh, I would have a relationship with him like that.